Hey, I'm Andy Nerf, back with Phyrexia OB1 set booster, opening, unpacking, whatever you want to call it. And it's been like about a week or so since I last opened some, just because of the next fest event and all that fun stuff. But yeah, we're back with some set boosters and we're going to open up five and hopefully get some cool stuff. Um, maybe, prob most, most likely not, but I mean, it's, it's all about the experience, right? So, yep. Yeah. We're gonna get five packs here. We got two, four, five. So in the camera. And then we're gonna put this box aside. Alright. So and I feel like with with this set, I think the there the cards with like the special foil. I think that's only in the collectors, but I'm not hundred percent certain. I mean, I, I I don't think I pulled them in the set boosters, but I don't know if it's just like a collector's uh, special thing or not. But anyways, on to my first pack. Oh yeah, this has art cards. Huh, I forgot. <laughs> anyways, we got, so our art card, we got this, which will be the Meldweb Curator. And now since this is has been a while, I probably won't recognize the the like the comments and stuff, so maybe I'll go over them. Oh, did I go this way? I don't remember, but anyways. Oh, we got a fancy Phyrexian I mean not Phyrexian, but a Phyrexian style island. Cool. Alright. Let's see, we got a bleak graph aspirant. The Menace Equipment Spells you cast cost one less to cast. Activate abilities of equipment you control that target it cost one less to activate. Neat. So we're gonna put that in our commons. So we got a Basilica Skull Bomb. That face. Ew, the teeth. So one sacrifice to draw a card, two white sacrifice to target creature you control gets plus two plus two and gains flying until end of turn. Draw a card. Activate only as a sorcery. Alright, that is what it is. I have room to put it on this side. I don't know, I'll just put it right there. <laughs> I'll leave this space for like the the rares and stuff. So maybe no, oh, we got a the fair basilica, whereas the other one was just the skull bomb. This one is the plains land. So yeah, I don't remember if the way they pack it, it's if it's like this this way with the commons to rares, or if it's like the other way. I just uh, yeah, I think I saw a rare symbol. That's why uh, I went off this way first. So we'll, we'll see with the next one. <laughs> Get a Basilica Shepherd, three white, white, flying. When it enters the battlefield, create two 1 1 colors, Phyrexian Might Artifact creature tokens with Toxic One, and this creature can't block. Pretty expensive. I mean, it's common, but I was going to say, like, pretty expensive for what, a 3 3, but. Oh, we are at uncommons now. We got a Porcelain Zealot. Three white. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. If that creature has toxic, instead it gets plus two, plus two. Neat. Put that there with the uncommon pile. All right, we got ossification. Wait. In hand basic land you control, when it enters the battlefield, exile target creature or planeswalker, and opponent controls until this leaves the. This seems pretty good. So it's like uh it's like an O ring, like an oblivion ring. Except, uh, can Oblivion target other stuff besides creatures and play them? I don't remember. <laughs> my, my memory is kind of crazy, but it's kind of like that, but it's a enchant, a land instead of just an enchantment. Okay, pretty neat. All right, what's this? Apostle of Invasion. Four white, white. Corrupted. As long as opponent has three or more poison counters, this has double strike. Okay. I mean, that art for that one looks pretty cool. Oh, cool. We got a alternate art sinew dancer. Uh, so it's not by Flavio. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to put that, uh, yes, we're going to put that in like an alternate art pile. So I don't know if that, that makes a difference between like the rarities, but it is what it is. We'll just have a pile for the rares and for like the foils. We want another alternate art. This one is Skanker Bloom, one white. Okay, I think I already saw this one too, so. Neat, neat alternate art. Like, I really like the alternate arts in this set. We got a rare, a Thrun, Breaker of Silence. Okay, three 
or white, three green green. This spell can't be countered. Trample. The Runbreaker Silence can't be the target of non-green spells your opponents control or abilities from non-green sources your opponent control. As long as it's your turn, this has indestructible. This seems pretty good. Like, I'm not sure, but based on what I'm reading and for the price, it seems fine. Not, I mean, it's not like it doesn't seem too overpowered, but it doesn't seem weak. So neat. All right, this is foil. Foil. We had an adaptive spore singer, two green. So vigilance when enters the battlefield, choose one target creature plus two plus two and gains vigilance, or proliferate. All right, and this one was I I saw a glimpse of it, but I didn't see what it was. So we got a gold span dragon. So it's a mythic rare, but it's from a different set. So like I I saw I thought it was gold, but yeah, it's a mythic rare from a different set. This is, I don't know what the odds of that happening, but. It's odd that I got a mythic rare that isn't from this set, but three red, red flying haste. When it attacks or becomes the target of a spell, create a treasure token. Uh, treasures you control have tap, sacrifice this artifact, add two mana of any one color. Okay, interesting. So I guess I'll put that in the rare pile, even though it's from a different set. But, uh, I mean, it is what it is. So, on to the second pack. Alright, can then. I need to open it this way. There we go. Ooh, look at that art. I do like the art. I think I mentioned it before. I like I, I like the art cards. So we got that. I think I think it's an alternate art. So we got a Phyrexian Obliterator. Okay, so it is an alternate art. That looks cool. That really looks cool. All right, so let's do it the same way but as before. We got a. Island, normal island this time. All right, we got a branch blight stalker, one green toxic two, or right, three one. Do I have a power? I don't have a power for green. We'll make one. We got mazes mantle, two green, enchant creature flash. When it enters the battlefield, if enchanted creature has toxic, that creature gains hexproof until end of turn and gets plus two plus two. Okay. We got a maze skull bomb instead of the basilica. Uh, so this one is two green target creature control. Gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample. Draw a card. Activate only as a sorcery. Uh, com that's a different one compared to the other one. A lot of green. So we got two green, and then the artifact that uses green. <laughs> uh, anyway, oil gorger troll three green green. When it enters about a foot, you gain three life. Then if you control a permanent with an oil counter on it, draw a card. All right. Let's see, what's next? Red card. Uh, Rebel Salvo. Two red affinity for equipment. It deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker. That permanent loses indestructible on a turn. Whoa. Interesting. I, like, I don't think I've seen a card before that removes indestructible. At least to my knowledge. There probably is a few, but yeah, that, that's pretty cool. What's next? Uh, uncommon. Uh, blade Hold War. Was that an uncommon? No, that wasn't uncommon. Okay. I was like, that seems pretty good. <laughs> All right. Blade Hold War Whip. One white, red. For Mirrodin, equipment, equip abilities you activate of other equipment cost one less to activate. The equip creature has double strike. Neat. All right. What's next? A uh, lot of artifacts. Uh, Hex Gold Halberd. Halberd? Uh, Halberd, uh, one red. As long as it's your turn, equip creature has first strike and trample. All right. Alternate art, uh, Blight Billy Rat. We've seen a few of these already. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Alternate art, uh, rare. That looks cool. Ovika Enigma Goliath, five blue red. Flying Ward, three, A3 three life. I don't know what ward is, but but uh, I, can, I guess I can look it up later. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create X11 red Phyrexian Goblin creature tokens where X is the mana value of that spell. They gain haste until end of turn. That seems pretty good. But like I said, I don't know what the ward means, but uh, like I'm not, if it's like a newer, if it's like a newer, like a gameplay mechanic, 
ass like return around the cup that's all new to me so i mean with the alternate art it does seem pretty cool so art wise it seems cool um i guess cost wise it seems pretty strong because you can create so many creature tokens as well so yeah pretty cool but then the rare pile all right we got a soulless jailer for two another rare permanent cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield Players can't cast non creature spells from graveyards or exile. Seems like a good graveyard hate card. <laughs> Alright, what's our foil? Do we have a foil? We do have a foil. Uh, we got Noxious Assault. Three green green creatures you control get plus two plus two on the end of turn. Whenever a creature blocks this turn, its controller gets a poison counter. Okay. And then we have a rules. Uh, Winchester Draft. A uh, objective grab a friend and play some magic in this quick casual two-player draft format uh, okay so it's just draft but with two people okay sure so i guess, I guess it's just another draft a way to draft when you only have two people instead of like six or seven all right on to the next pack what is the art for this one? I don't know. <laughs> it is against all odds. Okay. I mean, I, I, I guess I can see that. All right. Let's see what pack three has in store. Uh, Phyrexian looking mountain. Okay. We got a uh, Thirsting Roots screen. Choose one, search your library for basic land card, reveal and put it into your hand or proliferate. All right, this is what it is. Carnivorous Canopy, two green, destroy target artifact and chairman or creature with flying. If that permanent manu mana value was three or less, proliferate. I haven't seen a lot, I mean, we, could get, we did get the Black Billy Rat, but not a lot of black or blue for uh commons or as i say as i turn into a uh, blue one quick silver fisher three three blue blue flying when it enters the battlefield draw a card then discard a card and another blue one uh listener seer when it enters the battlefield or it enters the battlefield with three oil counters on it tap remove an oil counter to scry one okay got a prophetic prism when it enters the battlefield, draw a card, one tap, add one mana of any card. So you just, you pay one to get whatever color you want. Okay. Seems neat. Uncommon time. You got Tamiyo's Immobilizer. Is Tamiyo in this set? I don't think I see, I don't think I pulled her, so. I pulled Jace, I pulled Vraska. Or was it Nissa? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, anyways, it enters the battlefield with four oil counters on it. Tap, remove an oil counter. Tap target artifact or creature. All right. Let's see. We got Awaken the Sleeper. That art looks cool. Three red. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. If it's equipped, you may destroy all equipment attached to that creature. I think I've got this already. It's just I don't remember. I don't remember the art. Hmm. I, I think I would have remembered art like that. But anyways, uh, Resistance Reunited. Uh, one white target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Equip creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. All right. Alternate art. We got a mirror convert. Okay. Tap pay to life. Add one mana of any color. All right. We oh um, we did get one Flavio, but I was like, we didn't get a lot of Flavio on this so far. <laughs> Ooh, we got our rare, Archfiend of the Dross. Two black black. Uh, flying, it enters the battlefield with four oil counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove an oil counter from it. Then, if the, if it has no oil counters on it, you lose the game. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, its controller, uh, its controller loses two life. I've seen this before, but... I don't know how I feel about it. This doesn't seem great, but... Sure. <laughs> Uh, we got a foil, bone picker, scourge, and we also have a samurai token. The samurai token looks actually pretty cool. I I, I really like the art for this one. Uh, who is it? Gabalops. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
but our foil is the Bone Picker Scourge, two black, flying, and has corrupted, which, uh, Death Touch and Lifelink. Alright, two packs left for this video. Let's see what we get. If I can open up the pack. If I can open up the pack. <laughs> Come on. Why is this one, like, so hard to open? There we go. There we go. It just requires a little bit more effort. <laughs> is this a land? It's a pretty land. It is... The Seachrome Coast. Alright. Let's see what this pack has. The Phyrexian looking swamp. Alright, our commons. Oh, black one. Uh, P Pestilence Sif... No, oh, Pestilence Siphoner. One black flying toxic one. Alright. We had a Contagious Vorak, two green with a lot of text. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this much text on a common. And when it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a land card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If you didn't put a card into your hand this way, proliferate. Okay. That was a lot of text. <laughs> Get a Plague Nurse. Three green, Toxic two. Two green, each other creature you control with Toxic gains Toxic one. What? So each other creature you control with Toxic gains... So is it additive? So if a creature already had Toxic one, then it'll be Toxic two? Or will it be like two instances of Toxic one? Hmm. I'm not sure how that works, but based off the wording, so... We get a Shieldred's Head Cleaver, 3 black, Menace Toxic 2. Okay, so like, if that combined with the Plague Nurse, would this be Toxic 3? Or would this be like, would it have Toxic 2 and Toxic 1? <laughs> so, uh, it is what it is. We got Anoint with Affliction, 1 black, Exile target creature if it has Mount of Valley 3 or less. Uh, exile that creature instead if its controller has 3 or more points counters if it's corrupted. Okay. Let's see. Oh, so the, if it's corrupted, you can just exile any creature instead of uh, three or less. Okay. I had to, I had to reread that. Uh, Furnace Punisher, two red. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, Furnace Punisher deals two damage to that player unless they control two or more basic lands. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Uh, we got a minor misstep. Blue counter target spell with mana value, one or less. I just want to like, reread this well, first. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, it deals two damage to that player unless they control two or more. And it costs three. Wouldn't they have two or more by then? At least that's my understanding of how magic's played. But, anyways, we got Shieldred's Edict. One black, choose one. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Each opponent sacrifices a creature token. Or each opponent sacrifices a planeswalker. Neat. Alternate art, throwing bird. I have so many alternate art throwing birds. Like, it looks cool, but yeah, I have so many of those. All right, we got, ooh. ooh. We got Elshnorn, nice. It's not, like, it's not the alternate art by, I think it was Junji Ito. I think that's one of the alternate arts, but cool, we got Elshnorn, the the face of the, like, <laughs> the face of the pack, the face of the set, so neat. We got Elshnorn, Mother of Machines. Uh, it's a four white, four seven, Vigilance. If a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Permanents entering the battlefield don't cause abilities of permanents your opponent's control to trigger. Nice. Very nice. Alright, and we got a Phyrexian Goblin token. So that's neat. The last card is the foil. We got a Copper Long Legs. One green reach. One green sacrifice it, uh, proliferate. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that was odd getting the mythic rare from a different set but we also got a mythic rare from this set elshnor so last set or last pack for this video 
Let's see what we can get. Hopefully, I'm going to open it this way this time. Hopefully, I can. Maybe not. <laughs> Anyways. But, ooh, I like that art. I, I keep saying that with every art card I, I pull, but... Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. Alright, what's the name? Uh, Ran Executioner Thane. Very neat. Very neat. Alright, last pack, last pack. What do we got? Ooh, that looks cool. The swamp. <laughs> I mean, all the all the land arts in this set look pretty cool. So we got a, a spirit, a scent, blue, until target until end of turn, target creature gets plus one, plus three, gains flying, and toxic one. Seems like a lot for one blue. And it's an instant. Alright. We got Mir Kinsmith, four... Three one. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a mirror card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle. Okay. Uh, we got Duelist of the Deep, Th Duelist of Deep Faith. The one white, toxic one. As long as it's your turn, this has first strike. Okay. We got Zealot's Conviction. White flash enchant feature. It gets plus one plus one. Corrupted. It gets an additional plus one plus zero and has first strike. All right. Oh, was it? No, oh, that was a common. So we're in our uncommons now. We got a Jawbone Duelist. Neat hands there. <laughs> uh, one white. Double strike, toxic one. It looks like it's... The red makes it look like those are muscles. Like, it, it's the person's muscles. I don't know if that's just me, but... It is what it is. Uh, we got Armored Scrap Gorger. One green... Uh, it gets plus three plus zero as long as it has three or more oil counters on it. Tap, add one mana of any color. When it becomes tapped, exile target card from a graveyard and put an oil counter on it. Okay, so... Yeah, add one mana, add one oil counter. And it has plus three plus zero as long as three or more. So, neat. Alright, we got a Necrosquito. <laughs> okay. The names. Uh, three black, flying, it enters the battlefield with two oil counters on it. It gets plus one plus one for each oil counter. And whenever another creature or artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put an oil counter on it. That sounds pretty good. I mean, it does cost four, or basically a, you get a two two, but still. Okay, we got a rib skiff. Four. Toxic two. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card, and it has crew three. Tap any number of creatures you control with power, three or more. Uh, this vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Uh, okay. Uh, tap any number of creatures you control with... Oh, total power, okay. I was like, any number of creatures power, three or more. Why? Why would you just... Why wouldn't you just do one? <laughs> Alright, alternate art. Rust vine cultivator. Tap on an oil counter. Tap remove an oil counter. Untap target land. Neat. Okay. Alright, so, oh, another mythic rare, okay. The Phyrexian Obliterator. Uh, black, 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 black. Trample, uh, whenever a source deals damage to a Phyrexian Obliterator, that source's controller sacrifice, sacrifices that many permanents, wow. Seems nice, seems nice. Alright, foil, we got the foil draw skull bomb, so it's a skull bomb, but for black. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Draw a card. Activate only as a sorcery. And the last one is a card. Is it from a different set? It is. Oh, it's from an old set, too. Uh, we got, uh... Let's see. What was it? I can't read. Argivian Find. So, white. Return target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Did I get this before? It, it seems familiar. But sure, I guess I'll put that off to the side somewhere, but I think we got really cool cards in this in this batch. So we got a Phyrexian Obliterator, we got Elsh Norn, Mother of Machines, and let's see, we did get another, we got an alternate art, Ovika, and we got uh, a Mythic Rare from a different set. I don't recognize that one. Uh... Caladime? Caladime? I'm assuming from KHM from the set code, so 
Yeah, I think the Elsh Norn is the best one. I think, if I remember right, looking up the cards beforehand, but I mean, there. I I I think the alternate arts are worth more, but still, it's still pretty. It's a pretty good card. So yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff in this batch. So we saw a few more. So yeah, until next time. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, like I said, uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.